Today's review is being executed by the officers, Marines, and sailors of Ford Tank Battalion. Now taking his position in the reviewing area is the commander of troops for today's ceremony, the battalion executive officer, Major Nathan P. Ingram. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation given by Lieutenant Susan McGinn, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy. Let us pray. Holy God, in your great goodness, you have blessed Fourth Tank Battalion with 77 years of service and a unique gift it gave to the United States Marine Corps. The mission and purpose it served during those years were carried out with much honor, courage, and commitment. The season it has specifically served is coming to a close, and so I pray that in the days and years to come, you may greatly bless each Marine and the Marine Corps as a whole, as they have always been able to adapt and overcome. I also ask that you bless each individual Marine in Fort Tank as they venture into a new MOS and a new adventure of service. The blood, sweat, and tears that have been put into this battalion throughout the years will not be forgotten. May each tanker know they are a part of the honored history of Fort Tank Battalion that will live forever. From being the first unit to capture Japanese-mandated territory in the Pacific and the multiple battles fought in World War II, to being the only Marine tank battalion to use the M5 Stewart tank in offensive operations, to gaining our motto 53 days in the Korean War, to being known for having the biggest and fastest tank battle in the U.S. Marine Corps history during the Rebel engagement in Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm, to a small but vitally important service during the Iraq War. Lord, help each Marine channel at all times a steadfast adaptability and commitment to service even as we scatter into other MOSs, battalions, and even military branches, we shall still be one with each other and Semper Fidelis in our service. It is your holy name I pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Michael D. O'Quinn, Commanding Officer, 4th Tank Battalion. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors to our national colors.
ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel O'Quinn. Major General Fahey, Brigadier General Lebedin, Sergeant Major Avalo, welcome and thank you for attending. I would also like to welcome and thank the former battalion commanders and inspector instructors for joining us today. I'd like to ask them to stand as I call out their names and uh, please hold a pause until they're all standing. Colonel Tom Montgomery, Colonel John Valencia, Colonel Nelson Cardella, Colonel Mike Hansen, Colonel Frank Thompson, Colonel Mike Eddy, and Mr. Mike Krasovich, representing his father, Brigadier General John Krasovich, who was a battalion commander from 1972 to 1973 and also served as the 4th Marine Division Assistant Division Commander. Colonel Ron Storr, Colonel Jim Grooney, and Colonel Alfonso Diggs. Gentlemen, if not for your past leadership, the battalion would not have had to achieve the many successes it has had. Thank you. I'd like to extend an especially sincere welcome to the former 4th Tank Battalion Marines, sailors, friends and family who have taken the time to travel to this ceremony in order to celebrate our battalion's legacy. And last but certainly not least, thank you to the 3rd Marine Air Wing Band and Tom Stratton Marine for making this ceremony a special event. We are gathered today to honor the lineage of the largest tank battalion in the Department of Defense, and more importantly, the service, sacrifice, and legacy of all Marines and sailors who have served with 4th Tank Battalion. I would like to talk about the unique nature of those individuals who serve as Marine tankers and those that support a tank battalion. The character of Marine tankers and those that serve alongside them is largely shaped by the nature in which we fight. We ride our weapon systems into combat. Our ability to provide the support to our fellow Marines depends on whether or not our tanks complex mechanical systems, finicky at the best of times, will work in any time and place. This drives a unique perspective and a different kind of culture. The culture of a tank battalion creates individuals with an un incomparable work ethic. They're intelligent, innovative, and determined. I've seen these traits as Marines work long hours, both deployed and in training, to maintain their tanks. I've witnessed tank mechanics apply creative solutions to bring tanks back online, both legitimate and shady. <laughs> I've seen these Marines do this day in and day out repeatedly to ensure they were ready when our fellow Marines needed them in a fight. Above anything else, they demand this dedication, this commitment to excellence of their fellow tankers. Nothing else is acceptable. This was true of previous generations of 4th Tank Battalion Marines and Sailors, just as it's true of today's 4th Tank Marines and Sailors. Marine Reserve tankers are as dedicated and committed to excellence as any other Marine tanker, but they must attain this excellence in a fraction of the time. The history behind the uh, battalion's motto, 53 days, most aptly describes the character and dedication of the Marines who have served in this battalion through its many years. The Marines and sailors of this battalion have repeatedly proven they are ready, ready willing, and able to drop everything in order to perform their duties. They have shown they are eager to put in the hard work necessary to be as competent as their fellow tankers in the active component, and they have shown that they are adaptable, able to meet any challenge head-on and still achieve success. Since World War II, the Marines and sailors of 4th Tank Battalion have shown resolve, ingenuity, and aggressive commitment to mission accomplishment. The tanks have changed. The Marines have not. Our Marines and sailors have established a legacy that ensures 4th Tank Battalion will be regarded as one of the finest units in the Marine Corps history. The Marine Corps has always been an institution capable of adapting to the most effectively meet and defeat our nation's threats. Today is no different. As the Marines of the battalion transition to other units or to our sister services, they will bring with them those qualities they developed while with 4th Tank Battalion. 
I want to personally thank the Marines with whom I had the luck to serve as we deactivated eight units within the battalion over the past 14 months. The team quickly and easily understood that during this deactivation, the Marines became our mission. To date, we have transitioned 854 out of 1,026 Marines to other units within Marine Forces Reserve and to our sister services, such as the Army National Guard. We have also divested more than $230 million worth of equipment, including 50 tanks, 13 M88 recovery vehicles, and more than 120 wheeled assets. Many of these assets have been issued to other units, ensuring those Marines are able to train and perform their respective missions. We were only able to accomplish this feat with the support of 4th Marine Division and Marine Forces Reserve. Generals Fahey and Bellin were intent on keeping the faith with our Marines, and I believe we succeeded. I'm confident each and every Marine will be successful because they've been shaped by the legacy of 4th Tank Battalion. Since it seems Lieutenant Colonel Buffamani and I will not be having a change of command ceremony, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank some individuals who made this battalion work. First off, I want to thank my teammate, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Joe Buffalani. A reserve unit will only be effective insofar as the SMCR and Inspector Instructor Team uh, work together. Joe Buffalani, Sergeant Major Loyola, uh, and the rest of the INI staff have been crucial to make this battalion work. I honestly believe that we were able to achieve what we did because of the strength of our SMCR and INI team. Secondly, I want to thank the staff, officer and staff and SEALs of 4th Tank Battalion, especially Sergeant Major Markey and the Executive Officer, Major Nate Ingram. This isn't the year any of us expected, but each and every one of you quickly and easily transitioned to the new mission. Provide the most ready Marine and most ready equipment to the force and our sister services. Thank you for your commitment to our Marines, sailors, and our battalion. I also want to thank our families, the Earth Foundation, which allows us to put on our uniform and serve in the reserves. Our families sacrifice time, opportunity, income, and convenience in order to support the Marine and sailor. Those sacrifices are their service to our country. Personally, I want to thank my wife, Allison, and Lieutenant Colonel Buffalmani's wife, Lindsay. Without their endless well of patience, understanding, and strength, neither Joe nor I would have been able to serve the Marines and sailors of this battalion. Lastly, I would ask that each of us say a silent prayer for those 4th Tank Battalion Marines and sailors who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Although we are deactivating the battalion, you will not be forgotten. Thank you, and Semper Fidelis. Throughout its illustrious history, 4th Tank Battalion has been awarded the Presidential Unit Citation with one Bronze Star, the Navy Unit Commendation Streamer, the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Streamer with four Bronze Stars, the World War II Victory Streamer, the National Defense Service Streamer with one Bronze Star, the Southwest Asia Service Streamer with two Bronze Stars, the Afghanistan Campaign Streamer with one Bronze Star, the Iraq Campaign Streamer with one Bronze Star, and the Global War on Terrorism Service Streamer. On 12 May 1943, the battalion was activated at Camp Pendleton, California as 4th Tank Battalion, 4th Marine Division, and deployed during January 1944 to the Pacific Theater, where it participated in the battles of Kwajalein, Saipan, Tinian, and Iwo Jima. 4th Tank Battalion redeployed during October 1945 to Camp Pendleton, California, and deactivated 31 October 1945. On 2 July 1962, 4th Tank Battalion was reactivated in San Diego, California and assigned as Force Troops, Fleet Marine Force, United States Marine Corps Reserve. The battalion was once again reassigned 1 January 1978 to the 4th Marine Division. The battalion mobilized and participated 
in Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm in December of 1990 to March of 1991. Elements of Fort Tank Battalion have mobilized and participated in Operation Enduring Freedom Horn of Africa from March to September 2005, Operation Iraqi Freedom 2005 to 2010, and Operation Enduring Freedom Afghanistan 2009 to 2012. In accordance with Marine Corps Bulletin 5400, the Commandant of the Marine Corps has directed the deactivation of 4th Tank Battalion, 4th Marine Division, to be effective no later than 30 September 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of Lieutenant Colonel O'Queen and Lieutenant Colonel Bucamonte, thank you for your attendance. To all former battalion commanders and inspectors and instructors, please join the commanding general near the historical tanks at the flagpole for a brief moment.